Hey guys, so here we are, a little bit of a problem. On this clip, one is the one that's talking. You can hear me in the background outside of the chicken coop banging away, doing something. The problem is the radio, as the arrow pointed out, is playing and we would have a uh, copyright violation so I have to do a voice over for this so as you can see this is a daily routine I take care of feeding in the morning and one does it in the evening when she gets home from work in the morning I just feed them and do nothing with the troughs unless there's something wrong with them but in the evening, she will go through and collect all the feed that's left behind because it's mostly powder. The chickens have been pe uh, pecking at it all day long and it just becomes powder. So we take it out and reincorporate it uh, with new feed a little bit at a time so it's not all powder and eventually they will eat it. So she goes and collects this thing and then goes back into the feed room and has another bucket. She'll add new feed, old feed, and so on and so forth. Now, what we've discovered is that uh, these chickens are pretty much creatures of habit. They become active in the morning at about the same time and uh, they pretty much quit and go to sleep at the same time so you have to be as consistent as you can with feeding them in the morning feeding them at night whatever it is you do you have to try to be consistent now this might not affect them in any way but we're trying to uh, get them into a routine as quickly as possible and have them be confident and active so they can start laying eggs. Now the farm that sold us, the chickens told us that it would be about three weeks before they start laying eggs. Right now we're on week two and uh, they're doing very well. They are moving about, they're eating, uh, they're doing all those things, you know. Now, from time to time, we will feed them grass, uh, morning glory, you know, whatever we go and cut. And what they will do is they will go for the fresh stuff rather than the commercial feed first. And what we have noticed is when you feed them uh, morning glory or whatever you cut, the commercial feed will be ignored and you'll have more left over in the evening so these chickens were raised in a chicken coop and they were not free range so what we would like to do on a trial and error type of thing because we really don't know but eventually what we would like to do is you know, once they become accustomed to this chicken coop and they start laying some eggs and everything is a routine, well, we would like to start letting them go out and explore around the property and find bugs and, you know, go rate the morning glory that's down there and the weeds and whatever they want to eat and uh, see how they do. And uh, this hopefully works out and, and which I think we will and uh, at some point you know we'll try it yeah so uh, the only thing that's going on right now is we have one chicken that uh, was limping and uh, we put some uh, lemongrass as we were told to do and uh, right now it's got a very very small limp so uh, it's uh, recuperating and starting to walk normal and it, it'll do well, I think. So 
Anyway, this is a daily routine, seven days a week. Now, that is one of the drawbacks of having farm animals and, uh, you know, the fish it has its own work. Chickens have their own work. And eventually, uh, we will get some rabbits and put them in that room next to the feed room, which will be the rabbit room. So the idea here is that we can have fresh eggs, chicken meat, rabbit meat, fish, and of course, we started the garden so we can have fresh vegetables. So that will be very nice. And one of the problems in my mind that I see is the world would rather go to their local market and buy it without doing any work. And it's good. Fast, easy, and you know, you have all your time to do whatever it is you want to do. The problem is, is in, in my mind, is you don't know what goes into the production of all this uh, meat and vegetables and what have you. Here, we control every aspect of it. And if we give the animals something bad, then that's what we're eating is what we give them. But of course, we're going to try to give them the best thing possible so that we can have the best thing possible. And one of the advantages of doing this is no matter what the market is doing, our eggs will not go up in price. They will stay the same. You know, the same thing with the chicken meat, same thing with the fish, same thing with the rabbits. The only thing that uh, would affect us as far as the price is the price of feed if we give them commercial foot, food. But if we give them all the leftovers from the vegetables and, uh, and from the garden and we free range and we do all this stuff, then of course, uh, no matter what the uh, commercial food price is doing, it won't affect us. But the biggest thing is, the biggest thing is, is that we get a lot of satisfaction from uh, raising all this and, get, and, and knowing that we did it. And the first time that, you know, you get a vegetable or you get uh, uh, the fish growing from one inch to two inch and, you know, every month they keep getting bigger and bigger, it's exciting. It's exciting. So anyway... We will do our best to do what we do and learn as we go because chickens, just like any other animal, have their little tricks that you need to do and things that you need to learn and things that you need to do and so on and so on. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video. And as time goes on, whatever we learn, we will post it so that you can also know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. And if, if I see him stalking or he's going to hunt, then I kick him out. So here we try to adjust the orgy with the lady. Yeah. He's the only gentleman Yeah. here. He so, Diochi, you need to protect the lady. Yeah. 105 he, lady. He thinks this is KFC supply house. You cannot hunt the chicken. You be a good boy, huh, gentlemen? 
Mm. It's like, yeah, whatever. Just look the other way. Let me do what I do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.